What up, family? What up, family? Your welding coach, Black Phoenix, checking in. And today, we are doing some fast track welding in Little Rock, Arkansas, off of Scott Hamilton Drive. Today, the welding student is working on me welding in three positions. He's actually doing a fillet weld flat, a fillet weld vertical down, and a fillet weld overhead. And then he's going back up to do two more fillets. So he's actually creating a three pass fillet weld. What's going on, family? Thanks for checking in. Thanks for checking in. Hopefully, everybody's having a great day. Today, we just wanted to go live while my student is working on his Philip Wells T joints. He's actually doing T joints now. Once he get them tied in in every position, then we're gonna dive into some more different type of wells like bug joints and corner joints and things like that. But I want him to fine tune the um, the flat. So we're going to go in here in a second as he get the little stain and check out some of the wells, see how things are going. Practice make perfect, family practice make perfect. I believe when you're learning, if you would set yourself up, up something like this, then I think it'll just kind of help you when it comes to getting bored with one position. So you start on and you're flat and you do some of it, then you jump to your downhill, then you jump to your overhead and back to your flat. You know, there's nothing wrong with that when you're learning. Um, that's how I like to learn. I like to kill several birds in one stone, but to, to teach, the well process is, is, is the goal, is to be able to do three nice little wells. He's even trying different techniques and styles to, you know, to better his well pattern and techniques. So he's getting it in right now, fam. 19 years old, family, 19 years old. It's best to start young. Well, I wish I'd have started with him. More of my life would have been completely changed at this moment. Yeah, family welding saved me. Check out my hashtag. It's called Saved by Welding. It literally saved my life. So I, I enjoy teaching it now, and I got an opportunity to help this young man who's 19 and is about to change his life, fam. It's going to open up doors for him no man can close. Yes, I'm going to go in a little bit after he finished this one. We're going to step in and kind of see what he's doing. Uh, like I say, he just got started on the overhead, so he's been fine-tuning it. But we're going to get a little close when he get done and kind of check out what he got going. He actually got a few he's been doing. Let me get behind him. So he's been working here. He's been working on the down, on the flat. He's been working on the downhill. And then he got some overhead here. 
We just getting it in, family. Practice makes perfect. Practice makes perfect. Getting it in. Get out the way. Let him finish doing his thing. We just wanted to come through and check him out real quick. No, he's a beginner on all processes, family. <laughs> he ain't like, he only been on this. How long, how long we been messing with the big now? Four days, pretty much. He been on MIG about four days, family, and uh, just started overhead. So, like, he's killing it in this look. And then when we say four days, we're, we're not talking about eight hours a day, neither. We talking about four hours a day and pretty much three hours because we've been in the classroom and come out. So, you know, three to four hours a day for, for a week, pretty much, is how long he been on it. And um, it's coming out, fam. He's getting better. And like I say, we had to do some fine tuning with the machine and we had a couple things he's doing, but he's getting better and better. He's starting to see what it's supposed to look like. And uh, I like to lead by example too. So I come in and I drop one and let him drop one. And normally if I drop one in front of him and make it look good, boy, he'd be like, nah, I can't just let him outdo me. He got to come behind me. <laughs> so, you know, we keeping a, a nice friendly competition going on. What you said, in a month, he be, boy, a couple weeks, I'm going to say. <laughs> he going to be good because he's steady getting on it and he's learning more and more. And like I say, we watching videos where we're actually going over a couple things, do's and don'ts, and uh, fine-tuning the process. So he's actually doing well, well right now, fam, to be able to get to the position that he's at right now. So. <laughs> salute, salute, man. I appreciate that support, and I know he will too. I will make sure I tell him. Salute, salute. Thanks for checking in, fam. My guy said in here, from what you doing and from what he's seen, he got people on his job well, and yours look better than theirs. <laughs> <laughs> and the 
time you done did some boy, you got a bright future. <laughs> All you gotta do is stay at it, don't he, fam? <laughs> You got caught when you were trying to, yeah. Them little, them little, uh, them little tacks on there kind of mess you up a little bit. Bam, check them out. He getting that down here, Lenny. He getting it. Yep, that's all he doing, fam. You see, he's finding his little sweet spot. He exactly doing that. He's been like literally doing different things. Yeah, he's actually doing um, just filler wells, flat, vertical down, and overhead. But he has did, uh, he has welded in all positions with the flux core. So he finished the flux core in all positions, but then we're gonna fall back into the flux core to do T joints and lap joints and things like that. We just did the test, the, uh, the 3G and the 4G test and running beads in every position and then we're gonna fall back after he finished the mid. On this machine, let's see what it set on. Well, it's probably gonna move a little bit because the amp is going, but I believe it's about 18 point something, but I think it's moving right now. 18.9, 18.5, we'll see once it stops. But I believe the wire speed is on 240 something, 249. But why are you welding? They ain't gonna show us accurately until he stops. And we can fine tune and check and see what, what we got it on. Okay, you see our voltage? 187. You can't show this one, I messed up. <laughs> so we've been fine-tuning at that plate. Those look small scrap plates about uh shy of an eighth inch some of them are eighth inch so we're pretty much setting it on like three sixteenths to a quarter inch material so it's in between three sixteenths and a quarter right now i believe
think they look like. see how that sound I amped up the heat and the wire speed a little bit we're gonna see how this uh, sounds how this runs with them and then we'll go from there if anything else we'll drop down some instead of going up some more yes uh, we don't teach aluminum but I do know how to do aluminum I do have private classes but in this program we only teach MIG and flux and this program and stick wellness a fast track program but we do teach um but i do know all of it i'm a combination of welders so i do pipe uh aluminum stainless you know you name it all of it and i actually just bought a spool gun aluminum spool gun for one of my uh mobile welding setups that i use I almost sound like we got a little too much wire speed. How did it feel? Did it feel like you got too much wire speed? Not bad. We're gonna let them get let them get a good one out. Bad, ain't bad. We're gonna check them out in a second. Yeah, we uh amp the amplitude up of hair and also the the wire speed. Yes, me too. I like running hot so I can go fast. <laughs> Okay, I'm in Little Rock, Arkansas, and we do have people that come down just to get in this program because of the price. Very, very, very affordable. It's a 16-week program. We teach you stick welding, MIG welding, and flux core welding in four positions, but we test you in two. You're going to get your OSHA 10 and help with job placement, and it's only $37.75. $37.75, right under $3,800. You want us to come look at it? He looking like he looking at us. want us to come check it out. <laughs> I don't know, fam. He looking at him like he said, hey, y'all come look at this. I don't know. The glare up here. Oh, we can still see it, though. Look, glare, you know, from this light up here. But, ooh, we laid it in, fam. Check them out. Check them out. Yep, that looks good. We laid it in. So, just so you know, this program is $37.75, family. $37.75. 16-week program. You cannot beat it. They said, nice bead, man. It's looking good. He said, thanks, man. Thanks. He appreciate the love. This, this young man is 19 years old, family. 19 years old. Going to change the game for him. Yeah. 
Yes, he just started. Like literally just started. <laughs> literally just started. He's doing great. Yeah, that's a few things he's been doing. We've been trying different techniques and stuff, you know. I told him to try different things he feel like that'll help him get a little comfortable. That way he can see everything. That's the main thing. And his angle. I try not to have him have an extreme angle. I like to have, when I'm doing this, I like to have about a 10 degree, five to 10, so I can see everything. Appreciate it, fam. Appreciate it, fam. Just get at me. Check it out online. It's the Goodwill Academy in Little Rock, Arkansas. That's the Goodwill Academy in Little Rock, Arkansas off of Scott Hamilton Drive, 16-week program, family. And check this out. I want to give a live update. So one of my students, uh, one of my last students in my last class, he just got a job, and he has never made over $14 an hour. Now he's making $20.25, family, and he's doing post me welding uh in three positions and he's like loving it fam he it, it changed his game for him he went from 14 to 20 so he's he's gonna live up fam yes sir once i get a a, a pass and i can actually come over there <laughs> i'll most definitely uh travel overseas that's one of, that's on my bucket list actually thanks for checking in fam thanks for checking in I would try to angle. That's how I do it. I try to keep it like an upper angle like this. That way I kind of keep the puddle like in front of me. That's what I try to do. We're using 75-25.
And you know what? I have did that too, having it upside down. Having the gun upside down. How, how, how did you feel that? How was that? Same a little bit. I can tell you about what he did. But see, he was talking about, but sometimes you Doesn't matter to me, but we're using a Lincoln on this, I mean a Miller on this one, but I have a Lincoln too, so I like both. How'd that feel? It's a lot hotter too. <laughs> oh, fam! You see, you see how he looked at me, fam. He mugged me, fam. <laughs> He's getting it in, fam. We're finna, finna get ready to try it now. We about to get ready to end our day soon. We got a little bit more time. Oh, nah, fam. We ain't gonna clown him. <laughs> we appreciate y'all for checking in and hanging out with us, fam. Y'all make sure y'all check us out, too, on YouTube. We have a YouTube channel called Your Welding Coach also. And the link is in the bio. So make sure y'all hit that link and check us out on YouTube as well. Most jobs require MIG welding to be done downhill, float score to be done uphill, and also uphill with the stick. Uh, the companies around here are actually testing in flat position, vertical down, and overhead in MIG. And when it comes to flux, they're testing vertical up and overhead, and stick is vertical up and overhead um, if you're going to construction. So that's why we're having him do this.
Not that I know of, fam. I don't know anything in, uh, what is that, Eastern NC? Was that North Carolina? I'm not familiar with a lot of the Eastern states. I'm in Arkansas at the moment, but I do migrate from Arkansas to Georgia. I go back and forth. Y'all be blessed, fam. We got to ride out for the day. Y'all be blessed. We out. Hold on.